I love this one because it is all about taking responsibility and uh, what happens in your life when you do that. So I'm going to tell you a story about some of the things in my life where I have had to flip the switch. And so I wrote this thing called Flip That Switch. <laughs> so anyway, we got to wait for the beginning. I will tell you my story. I used to think that everything just happened. And then I came to realize that I have a say in that happening. It's like a universal partnership. You just gotta learn to flip that switch. Forty years ago, I was a battered wife. It's true. Can you believe it? I was whipped. I was threatened. With a knife. For more than a decade, I was brainwashed to accept that dysfunctional life, and before I ended up in a ditch, I needed to flip that switch. When you take that stand, you're not a victim, not a slave. You gain power with every decision that you make. When you walk into ownership, you walk over and flip that switch. <laughs> so, what is that switch, you may ask? And where? Does it live? What is the secret to scratching that itch? Well, it's responsibility. Realizing that what you do matters, what you say matters, what you think matters, what you dream about matters. Oh, baby, it's all one niche. You just gotta flip that switch. <laughs> Let me tell you some of my story. I used to be a managing editor at a daily newspaper. Now the media gets a lot of flack, mainstream media. It's become such a derogatory phrase. But all the people I worked with back then were honest, hardworking, ethical people in so many ways. But there were wars, there were floods and shootings and kidnappings, there were murders and lies, politics and wise guys, there were leaders on ego trips, and I just, I just had to flip that switch. Oh, what a mess, so much stress, covering the news of the world in all its distress, with the photographs of terror attacks. All the blood and tears and anger and fears, all the people in despair. Year after year, I just had to write a new script. I needed to flip that switch. <laughs> so, how do we flip that switch? How do we make that change? How do we take control of our own emotional range? Well, it's useful to believe that we hold the keys to this reality, and it's useful to think that we can be in sync with the universe, with universal thinking. Yeah, we gain power and synergy when we move with energy. No, I wouldn't be a snitch if I said we had to flip that switch. So how has this panned out in my life? How did I end up here? 
Well, it took some visualizing, it took some creativitizing to make it all the way to this sphere, and I thought, what do I want? What do I want in my life? A comfortable home, great friends, cute car, fabulous weather and trails and amazing wildlife. Of our story, we take authorship when we, are, we, when we rewrite our script and flip that switch. I made a plan, I wrote things down, I took some steps in the right direction, oh yeah. <laughs> I found love, I found friends, I found cows and chickens and pajamas and sheep, I found mountains and pastures and amazingly good food to eat. I'm just saying this ain't no glitch when you learn to flip that switch. Woo! Now, are you responsible for everything? Well, of course not. You're not responsible for the weather, but is it useful to act as though you have a choice in every situation how to react? Why, yes. Yes, it is useful to think that you have that choice. So if you want your life to go without a hitch, honey, you just Gotta flip, (laughs) flip that switch. (laughs) Whether you're poor or you're rich, you gotta, gotta flip that switch. Whether a zombie or a witch, you really gotta flip. Just like a baseball pitcher, you just gotta flip that switch or just get out of the way. (laughs) What do you want? What do you want in your life? Write things down, make a plan, take some steps in the right direction oh yeah you might stumble until it's right just keep walking on toward the light you just have to cross that bridge you just have to flip that switch and what happens when you do that well you stand a little taller you walk a little faster smile more. You stand a little taller when you take responsibility. You walk with purpose and you smile more. You stand a little taller. You walk with a spring in your step and you smile more. When you flip that switch, When you've taken control of your life When you've made that change You take over the wheel and you just drive (laughs) You're not a victim, not a slave You can see everything you've made Take ownership don't just wish. You gotta, you gotta flip that switch. Now remember, I used to think that everything just happened. Then I came to realize that I have a say in that happening. It's like a universal. You just got to learn to flip that switch. Now, I hope I've made you see the importance of taking responsibility. It's one of the fundamental principles of the emissaries. And (laughs) it makes a whole lot of sense. Unless, of course, you're really dense. But don't worry. 
life will show you. Life will really get to know you. So be cool and full of kitsch. You've just got to flip that switch. Here we go, chorus, everybody. Whether you're poor or you're rich. Whether you're poor or you're rich, you got to go to flip that switch. Not your witch. Whether a zombie or a witch, you really got to flip that switch. Just like a softball bitch. You really gotta wind up. And you really gotta flip that switch. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed my little presentation as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. Don't forget to tip the waitresses. Last call in about a half hour. I hope you have a really great day. And I will see you on the flip side. Thank you very much. Thank you.